all is possible. Our child will be heir to the kingdom. Still, I went to public school. I played with neighborhood oh, kids. Uh, I went to boarding school. We agree. Well, I was riding the subway by myself when I was 10. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow alcoholics, welcome to a lovely rainy day. Let's go for a drive. Two, Arizona 202 Loop East. Got up here and realized I didn't bring my jacket. Shut that off. Had the uh, heater on because got a little cold up there. The wind picked up, and of course, with the wind picking up, that means there's probably another storm moving. I mean, literally we're sitting here watching the clouds roll in. So maybe I should leave. I was going to do a nice rant from over there about Christmas Eve, but whew, this is definitely a nice winter storm. <laughs> Time to go back. Did you Yeah, it's a lot, a lot nicer down here. Less windy. Of course, as I say that, <sighs> jinxed it, didn't I? But just sitting here watching the clouds roll by. Ah, oh, this is nice. By the way, there's a flood warning, so I should definitely get out of here. But yeah, just wanted to do something a little different for Christmas Eve. Thought I'd show you guys the, again, this is, if I haven't said it, the uh, South Mountain Preserve passed by where the towers are. So if you ever Phoenix look south and see a bunch of red lights, that's this mountain range. So yeah, just walking a little bit along here. See the mountains coming, they're bringing the rain. Ah, lovely smell of grease woods and desert rain. And of course the ice cold wind. All right, I'm back. It was a fun drive. Um, it's still cloudy out there, and there is still a flash flood, as well as I think just in general, a flood warning or a watch, one of the two. Uh, I think most of it's going to be happening overnight. So while Santa's out and about, since this is totally filming on the day of, uh, anyways, it's going to be cloudy and rainy all night. So, But yeah, it is Christmas Eve. I may or may not be here. Wink. Uh, again, going to my parents on the 24th. And we'll have uh, probably be back on the 25th. Uh, the projects, like I'll actually get those. You'll probably see a finished video on the 26th or so. Because again, they're coming, but they're going to be coming after Christmas because of delays. So, But anyways, it was nice to drive up there and smell, again, desert rain. It has a lovely smell it's basically grease woods or creosyl bushes depending on what you call them i have two of them in my front yard so every time it rains i get this lovely smell so but yeah just sitting around here also i took stock of how much liquor i have left i am going to have two extra which may work out nicely if i do a live stream but i only have two things that are like 30 or 20 percent that level of liqueur. Everything else is going to be hard liquor or 35% or something like that. So why do I know that? I counted, like I said. But why do I care? Because I am going to have to do one with some slight driving nearby my parents' place. So I always do one out there in the desert, and I don't want to go out there, take a shot of uh, 
hard, hard liquor and then have to drive. It is the desert. It is a short distance, but still, I'd rather play it safe with some low-level liquor. So, anyways, just to let you know, just kind of uh, housekeeping. Speaking of housekeeping, this thing's getting a little sticky. Uh, so I need to be cleaning it. But regardless, let's get on to today's Advent on this lovely cloudy day. Again, maybe it's because I grew up in a desert where it was sunny 90% of the time. I look at my freaking skin. I do enjoy the cloudy, w- rainy weather. It's beautiful. Uh, anyways, let's see what number I roll on this beautiful, beautiful day. Hey, look at that. It's 12. Hooray. Today we are looking at Navy Bay Rum, dark Jamaican rum, which is 40 percent, I mean 40 proof, no 40 percent alcohol, 80 proof. I should know that by now. That is your standard spirit line. So Jamaican rum, Jamaican me crazy. Actually, the um, rum I had at the Christmas party that was actually pretty good was Jamaican rum. So see if this tastes just as good. Um, you know what? In honor of the winter sports and it being the day before Christmas, how about we go with hockey theme? You know, ice, ice skating, the coyotes. That's the logic I'm going with today. Anyways, also, I just realized I forgot to turn on my TV here. Oh, well. There's no Chris, there's no TV watching on Christmas Eve. Spend it with your family. That's good. This is a nice big shot glass, by the way. But that is a pretty light tea color, I would call it. Almost like the same um, color as tea. And also quite thin. So, again, light tea. Let's see if it tastes like it. Here's the smell. I don't know what it is about the pure alcohols that just have such a rough well pure if it is pure alcohol oh boy uh but i mean the standard liquor line stuff usually has a stronger smell to it but there is so it smells rummish <laughs> rubbish no um it does smell like spice rum but it has that rum taste a smell to it but it's not watered down, but it doesn't taste as taste, smell as strong as what I would expect rum to smell like. So, hmm. I wonder what the difference is between, say, Jamaican rum, Caribbean rum. Because isn't technically Jamaica in the Caribbean? Technicalities aside. Anyways, here's two. A relaxing night before Christmas. And all through the house. Not a creature was scurrying, but Dad was shooting rum. Cheers. Uh, Ooh. Ooh, that bird. Ah. That aftertaste. Yeah, that's rum. Ooh, that aftertaste, though. All right, goes in. Pretty. Ha, <laughs> ha, Yeah, no, that's the aftertaste. The alcohol is fairly strong, but not that strong. But that aftertaste, I'm not a fan of. Ooh, okay. Goes in. Fairly strong. You get that initial alcohol warm taste right down the middle. And as it goes down, though, there's just... I don't know what the taste is. It's... uh... If this was bourbon, I would say it was the oak taste. But there's something burnt or wooden in that taste. Now, the aftertaste is the issue. The rum itself, eh, okay. Nothing special, but it's good. Well, as good as, you know, straight liquor line level stuff is. 
Um, that would go perfect with your standard Coke, rum and Coke. Perfect. Because the Coke would take care of that aftertaste, and then you're just left with that good rum. Ah, so that burp right there, pure rum. So yeah, that is pretty. I mean, it's okay rum. I'm, it's not going to change my mind, and all of a sudden I'm going to be a Navy Blue fan, or Navy Bay, excuse me. But it's not bad. I, I'm not going to turn my uh, nose down on it. Oh, I see a cat. Why aren't you inside? It's raining out there. Hi, yes, I see you. But yeah, it's good. It'd be fine with mixed drinks, etc., etc. It's the aftertaste that gets me. As And again, with rum, if you're usually drinking it with um, cola or anything else, the aftertaste will be nothing to worry about. The actual alcohol itself, good, fine, middle ground. You know, uh, <laughs> the standard kind of affair, so... Mm, nice, nice, nice. Again, nice. Not going to change my mind about anything. So, anyways, as I go and prepare for the fat man coming down the chimney, let me go load my gun because it ain't Santa Claus. Anyways, all that aside, hopefully you have a good Christmas morning. And till then, when I see you around noon, I'll have my own drink and probably be out in the desert. Otherwise, Merry Christmas, Eve. See you tomorrow. Bye. Coming down the chimney to shove it down. Gonna shoot that big fat clown.